personal violence happens on college campuses all over the United States. It also happens off campuses, and it can have a powerfully negative impact on those who experience it. So why does this kind of violence happen? College campuses are part of the larger U.S. culture, and many scholars warn of a rape-prone culture where prevalent attitudes, norms, and behaviors excuse, minimize, and even encourage sexual violence. This environment creates stereotypical beliefs about women, men, sexuality, and power that can lead to a whole range of negative consequences. These stereotypes are reinforced through images, ideas, and conversations we are exposed to every day. Without careful thought, we may simply accept them as a way of life. One of the most important things we can do to protect ourselves against this kind of violence is to clearly distinguish the myths from the facts. Myth. People lie about sexual assault. Fact. The vast majority of sexual assault reports are true. Not believing a survivor is emotionally damaging, and it lets others know that they won't be believed if they come forward. Myth. Only strangers commit sexual assault. Fact. Stranger assault represents less than 18% of sexual assaults. The overwhelming majority of sexual assaults occur in familiar places and with people we trust. Myth. Perpetrators can't help themselves. Fact. We're all conscious of and able to control our own actions. When we say perpetrators can't help themselves, we excuse their actions and place blame on a survivor. Myth. Provocative clothing is a risk factor. Fact. Whether you're wearing a short skirt or snow pants, the only risk factor is the presence of a rapist. Whatever the reason behind a person's choice of wardrobe, no one dresses to encourage an attack. Myth. Real sexual assault is always physically violent. Fact. The overwhelming majority of assaults, 82%, are perpetrated by acquaintances, friends, or by family members who use coercion to assault. Coercion, pressuring, guilt-tripping, and intimidating can be just as forceful and disempowering as physical violence. Myth. Sexual assault can be an accident. Fact. Sexual assault is never an accident. The perpetrators claim that they received mixed messages and didn't know the person was not consenting is not valid. When someone wants to stop and the other person wants to continue, the burden is entirely on the person who wants to continue. Myth. Sexual harassment is flattering. Fact. Wolf whistling, cat calling, or honking are not flattery, but gender bullying. Sexual harassment involves one-directional communication that occurs without the consent of the individual. Myth. Men cannot be sexually assaulted. Fact. Sixty percent of males in secondary schools are sexually harassed, and one in ten men is sexually assaulted. Sexual violence can be experienced by any person of any gender. These myths are a reflection of our culture's values and attitudes towards personal violence, and we have the power to change them. Working together, we can create a campus and a society in which sexual violence of any kind is a thing of the past.